What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate everyone coming back to watch another episode on here. Today we will be back on the rear end and getting this brace kit put on. I finally did go to my favorite store, Old Harbor Freight. Picked up some step up bits. So I'll be able to drill the two holes out on each side of the center section to fit these bolts. So the holes that are in there from the factory they don't quite fit up, so you gotta drill them out. But in the last episode, I did throw the rear end under the car and get the wheels fitted up in there. Y'all saw my verdict on these. I'm keeping these wheel wheels, these tubs the way I'm doing them. I will progress on that coming up. But for now, I need to get this rear end back up from under here, get it on the jack stands so we can continue and hopefully finish up this thing there's some, some tabs I need to weld on it for the, they're uh, basically tie down tabs that you weld onto the, the crossbar here. So you have a place to put straps. And then it also comes with uh, the tabs for like your anti-roll bar and stuff, but I'm not gonna put those on until I'm ready to put my anti-roll bar in, which will be a whole video in itself. So I'm gonna set this camera up and here we go. Alright, here's all the pieces of this thing. I started videoing this the other day. I kept breaking drill bits. But, so you got these two holes here. And here's all your pieces. You got that, this, the bolt that goes through, and you also have this piece that goes, I'll turn it over, and here, you can already tell, I'm going to have to trim a little bit, it's not, it doesn't fit quite perfectly where I think it's supposed to go, it catches a little bit where that goes in right there. I'm gonna clean all this up, but, and also that, this washer here goes on the opposite side. So whenever you put this here, this actually fits inside. And this is gonna weld on top like that. And you got your bars here that go like that. So I'm probably going to put mine about right there, cut this side off, and then all of this excess that's left over, you can put little gussets, if you will, to strengthen it in the middle. But I'm going to get started on finishing drilling out these holes, and then I'll be back.
Got her all welded in. It's not perfectly symmetrical from one side to the other, but that'll be all right. I'm no professional here. But it is all welded up and hey, done. Daddy. Hey, Daddy. What's up, buddy? You helping me today? We need, we need more water. More need, water? We need, I need one, more water. Okay. There's not a lot lot left to do on this rear end. Like I said, I got the front brace kit in. Got all the lower bracketry. I got to put the doublers on here. So, I'll weld these on. I'm going to do it today. Weld those on there. And then it came with these tie-down points that I can put back here. So that I can tie the car down whenever it's on a trailer I don't know if anybody can notice but from the first six and a half minutes to the last few seconds it's been like a month or so since I filmed had a lot going on with work and had to go back down to Florida and get my wife's car and all that so I think I'll get back on working on this this car get this rear end completely finished up now Get the rest of a little bit of welding I need to do on it. Get it painted. Get it up under the car. Uh, get everything under the car painted. Get back on these uh, mini tubs and just get back to working on this car. I've been not working on it a whole lot lately. So, uh, sorry. I haven't been around. But, like always, comment, like, subscribe. We'll see you in about a week.